Alright, so today I'm just going to show you really quickly the two different types of overclocking for Ivy Ridge and I will just key in the settings and show you how it's done. So with the MSI BIOS you just click the overclock settings tab on the left you'll see your CPU settings here for turbo overclock that's the first style is where you leave CPU ratio on auto and you leave speed step on and then you go to CPU features right here and you can you can see 3.9 that's the default turbo and you can up that so you could do 4.2 or I found the highest mine will do stably is 4.4 so you can put 4.4 into all of these and then the idea of this is that you can actually get that at auto voltage so the voltage will automatically throttle itself down and the CPU will automatically throttle itself down to the normal 16 times multiplier when it's idle and it will turn the voltage down when it's idle and then when it's load it will turbo up so you can go to CPU core voltage and leave it on automatic and that way it's going to throttle down but go to hybrid digital power and under VDUP offset I found for 4.4 I needed 100% and that's 1.27 which is what mine needs for 4.4 but if you have a CPU that can do 4.4 at a lower setting then you can do try one of these lower percentages and that will basically lower the the voltage under load so that's all you need to do for the turbo mode and you can just restart Alright, so we're in Windows now with the turbo overclock, and you can see one6 16 times multiplier is what it thr will throttle down to, and it will throttle the volts down, and then you can see power, the package is 11 watts. and usage and then if you click CPU uh, run on Cinebench and put a load onto it you'll see it will throttle up the multiplier throttle up the voltage and, and then you'll see the power it'll use 70 watts or so and then you can see it, it goes back down once it's finished so this is the mode that I use personally because I like to have the lower voltage and the lower clock speed and the lower power when it's idle and the disadvantage of this mode is that the, the maximum clock speed that you will be able to reach is going to be lower than a fixed so I found with my chip 4.4 is the highest that you can get uh, it may be possible to retire with different chips but for me it's 4.4 but I am fine with that because I don't need it to be any higher than 4.4 and I like to have all the turbo and the speed step and everything intact and running so that it basically idles uh, like stock like it would if it was running stock settings but then when it goes to turbo it turbos up to 4.4 instead of turboing to four to three point nine and then for a fixed overclock what you do is in the CPU multiplier you just key in the, the frequency that you want you go to speed step and turn that off and then you head down to core voltage and set what you want and then you just save
All right, so you can see the difference here. CPU usage is low, and the clock speed is fixed, so it's not going down because turbo is off. And you'll notice package power before it was 11, and now it's 25, 24. So package power is a little higher. Alright, so there's the bench cinebench run. You can see the score is similar. So that's a very quick look at fixed overclock and turbo mode overclock for Ivy Bridge.